yeah, so basically, um, Gerald Shelby was at first a race car guy, and as you see in the beginning of Ford versus Ferrari, he was the first American to ever win Le Mans. But back then, there weren't any American teams. Carol Shelby, if you also don't know, is also Texan. He-he. <laughs> That's why he's always wearing a cowboy hat in literally everything you see him in. Even photographs. And apparently also a war vet, just because he wasn't badass enough. So, uh, in 1959, he was racing for Aston Martin, because there weren't American teams. He wins, but he also suddenly gets a heart condition... Where, for the rest of his life, he took nitroglycerin pills so his heart wouldn't beat so quick it exploded. And he had to do that up until his death in 2014, where he died of old age and not because of a heart issue. Damn. Yeah, his heart was a ticking time bomb for his entire life, and that's not what kills him. He, he dies died of just age. being fucking old. Yeah, no, and he could, he still just ran cars around, even though it elevated his pulse, he would just take his nitroglycerin in the car with him and just chug it while he was driving. Even as an old man, it was cool. Like, but... nothing nothing could stop Carroll Shelby, but, you know him for the 4 GT, he became famous for the AC Cobra, but if you go later, oh! he's no, mostly no. known for making, like, supercar-killing Mustangs. Like, like brutally fast, like Mustangs, but he was also hired by Dodge. I don't know if you know this. Let's see. And if he it's made thing I don't know shit about it. Okay, the thing about him is that he made two cars. He made at least two for them. One was the Dodge Stealth. Uh, no, not the Dodge Stealth. <laughs> if it was, it was an old. No, it was. Uh... Oh. Sorry. I don't know. It was an eighties. 80s... Oh, Dodge Daytona, that was it. Uh, he made a turbocharged sport version of that, but he also, as a way to make a modern AC Cobra, invented the Dodge Viper. That was Hell. him. Casually. Yes. Just casually invents a car. Well, the other thing, too, is that he was allowed to get away with it because the thing about the Dodge Viper Damn it, is, God. if you want to say, like, when people talk about crazy cars, they say, oh, I love Lamborghini, it's so passionate, like a charging bull. A um, Dodge Viper is something, is an infernal leviathan powered by fire and brimstone. There are warnings all over it about how it is going to kill you. And it has no sympathy for, uh, we and it has no sympathy for weakness and will give you an even greater punishment for it. Hell yeah. Now, the last time we ever had a car like that, though, is actually because of Paul Walker. You know oh, what I'm yeah. Talking? Yeah, because, okay, oh, yeah. I know Fast and Furious. <laughs> yeah, okay, oh, so... You want to know some really good behind-the-scenes stuff? Okay, in Fast 6, right? Yes. Okay, in Fast 6, Paul Walker dies in the middle of filming. In in the shot, they basically do seven. what they did with Bruce. No, okay. it's, it's 7. Okay. But either way, they still managed to do what they did with Bruce Lee, where even though he died midway through, they still do some clever editing, so it's not weird in the movie. And it was kind of meant to be a, a touching memorial, and it really is touching. People have memed on it, even. Um, thing is, is though, that was the last time you were ever allowed to buy, like, a dangerous, or make a dangerous car, because that was the Porsche Carrera, I think, but it, even though his friend was driving it, it was like, everything in it was up to you, the driver, you had zero assists in anything, yeah. but despite the experience of his friend, they still crashed and he caught fire. Hmm. Although my friend had a really terrible joke about that. Um, someone on the video game forum was like, hey, they cremated Paul Walker today, and then one of the guys replied, yeah, but the crash already did that first. Oof. Oh. Yikes, dude. Yikes. I mean, Jeez. they're not wrong. You're not wrong, but yikes. Yeah. Jeez. Damn it, come on. I cannot yeah. find what upgrade I have on my Seriously? PLP 50. But my PLP 50 is uh, an S1 ranked car. I saw that, Golden. Because <laughs> I'm a goddamn nightmare of a human being. No, wait, I just realized. Okay, wait, Sleepy, you say what you're saying. I had a cold one. <laughs> hey. I cut out the second part of that. Oh. <laughs> the first part 
No, I just realized, Robin, if you wanted to drop an LS into a P50, you couldn't put it inside the car. You have to weld it to the back and then add another wheel so it doesn't fall backward. I forgot how much fucking fun the P50 is when you do stupid shit to it. So, Goldie, what are you doing? It's a mini game where upon <clears throat> completing all three of these, you get a health extension. And, ugh. The game is fucking bullshitting, man. Oh, is it like a Simon Says kind of thing? Uh, more like a Simon, Simon Says, says cool. whack-a-mole sort of thing. Ah, damn it. Ah. Yeah. Fuck. It's kind of like one of those, like, you put the ball into the cup and you have to find which Dude. cup has the ball kind of thing. The last two won't let me go. There. Come on. Okay, all the way up here. Come on. Uh. Yeah, I'm just casually off-roading at 120 miles per hour in a PLP-50. <laughs> you know, What's because, about it? because Forza Horizon 4 is a very good video game. <laughs> it's not about why, it's about why not. <laughs> why not yeah. do the fucking dumbest thing possible? Oh, you, know, you know that uh, people, oh. like, there are people who will just spend money just to make crazy builds like that. Like, have you ever heard of Matt Farah? No, I'm not. Okay, I'm gonna have to go uh, back to this later. Jesus. He made an off-road 911 with the inner line, and the interior is made from the inner lining of an L.A. city bus. <clears throat> Why? Okay. Why not? God, I love Forza. <laughs> That's not Forza, that's real life. I know, but I'm, I'm, I got myself stuck a Forza in a tree. Forza vibe. I got so. stuck in a tree in a PLP 50 and I just started laughing. Like, this is. I miss this game. It's very dumb. Robin, if we do Lemons, do you want to be a part of that? Lemons? Lem okay, it's a parody of Lama. You basically buy a bullshit car, it's a total beater, it's a lemon. Uh, and you, uh. And I've you seen cars too. Goofy mods on it. Yeah, and then you race, and you're not even expected. You don't even have to win. People are there just to more pretty or less much for the memes. It. Yeah, it's literally a meme. The race is a giant meme, <laughs> but it technically yeah. counts as a race, and there are standings in it. That's the funny part. Yeah, and your car has to have a theme, <laughs> or something weird like one of them in I the just... in the Pennsylvania Sorry. Moscow lemon. There are these two people. It's winter. And their car is a 90s Le Sabre that had caught fire. So it was a convertible, and just the wire frame of the roof is there, and they're in, like, dual winter coats. And there's just just burnt-out car. Oh, and the trunk lid is missing, and the bottom part is falling out. So they ratchet-strapped a treasure Why? chest onto the trunk to be the trunk. Fucking hell! It kind of sounds like Wacky Races. God damn it! Oh, yeah, it is very like... much a Wacky Race. I mean, there's two of them. There's the rally, where you're driving a, usually across America on an epic road trip to obscure locations in the U.S. to learn about, you, you might say, the shadow, the cool, culture shadowlands in America that people miss. Or you're in a race circuit, and you are racing 24 hours with your team. Yeah, our current, like, winning ideas that we have for our car uh, is, like, a funeral hearse. And the coffin is either going to be a sleeping place so you can swap drivers on the on the fly, or a giant beer cooler. That's and, uh, the name, hilarious. And the name is Last Call. That's pretty Amazing. great. Yeah, yeah. and uh, we'd have like a fucking we'd have like a fucking spirit Halloween skeleton just sticking out of the sunroof. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, as long as we keep the car under a certain foot length then we're fine so like if the skeleton is sticking up so long as we but you can decently get his upper body up through there with like the arms and shit we just have to make sure it's not like falling to pieces so we don't get like pulled over no yeah. damn it although that would be a funny day for the cop i'm sure oh Fuck. yeah absolutely hey robert oh there we go rally oh rally yeah yeah if we can't get a hearse we should just see if we can find a lot of yeah, that too. That's our that's our second winning combination. 
yeah, don't worry, we'll, we'll cross the finish line with our foot to the floor and still barely make it up the hill, but we won't break down, that's the important part. <laughs> Puts foot on floor, ascends hill at 16 miles an hour. At least I'm not breaking down. What should what what should the name for the lotta be? Uh, crap, because we can. I'm. I think it's more of a spoil for choice or the burden of choice thing, because we can think of a lot of names for it, can't we? <laughs> a lot of names. <laughs> yeah. Oof. I'll say that was intentional because why not? It's just John. Uh, hey, Panda. Pickles. New person hey, who I've not met. Hey, Hello? Gremlin. <laughs> Yeah. Did um, you know? Did you know that Australia has Australia? Up, yes, Australia has one of the biggest cows. They think that's going to break the new world record. This cow was, world is six foot and four inches tall and weighs over three thousand pounds. It is so Are big, you? in fact, that this cow cannot, and I mean cannot, be killed because none of the fucking stuff they have for it. Will will fit it. The so immortal cow. cow. So this cow will live out its years on a farm, big as hell. Fuck yeah! Nice. <laughs> Living it. That's the kind of nonsense that needs to happen when we come into these calls. Cow be is... living that thick life. <laughs> the thick life. The thick yes. life. Oh, I hate my brain! I hate my brain! Yeah. Um, my brain just went the thick life of Zack and Cody. <laughs> yes, oh like Zach and Cody. Yes. Panda. I am proud of you. Panda, what would you name your cold one? Uh, fruit punch. Oh. Yeah, didn't we, punch. Yeah, yeah, didn't we think didn't we agree on panda punch like six okay. weeks ago? Yeah, I'm sorry. I lost track. No, it's fine. Yeah, it's panda fine. punch. Panda that, that works so well. With with panda dressed as uh, Captain Falcon. Yeah. But hi, I've never met you before. Yeah, Robin, this is panda. Yeah, this is panda, panda paws. She's a wonderful artist. Check your stuff out. And she's a gremlin. Oh, yeah. Send me some she's shit. Yes, I am a gremlin child. I, I we are gremlin buddies. Robin, send me your OC. Are you? Oh, there okay. we go. Okay, yeah, here we go. <laughs> and so it you begins. Need <laughs> I will send. I'll send you two different images. I'll send you the OC, the pony OC, and then also, um, like the icon that Galaxy drew because it's very good and I love it a lot. Uh, where is Wonderful. you? Wonderful. Uh, also, uh, apologies if I, if this is an awkward question. I keep hearing it back and forth, and I don't want to get it wrong. Pronouns, please. They, them, she, her. It really doesn't fucking matter. Okay. Like her, making sure. I currently have a beard because gender identity is fucked. Well, I was gonna say, yeah. like, that sounds almost like somewhat ge uh, like gender fluent, but more. Yeah, I. Yeah. I've been so using I'm, gender I'm fluid and non-binary. Gender fluid and non-binary is what I've been using. Okay. Hell yeah. I just Winnie. don't want to cause any discomfort. It's all good, my dude. As Jim, as James Stephanie Sterling would say, non-binary finery. Oh, I'm just trash. Uh -huh. <laughs> finery implies that I'm good at anything. Also, Robin. What? We are now gender fluid buddies. Hell yeah! <laughs> welcome Hell to the yeah. welcome to the club. It's a nightmare. <laughs> Gender a dysphoria baby. is a beautiful wonder. <laughs> I have been a, sent a baby. GTRS. Ooh, this is the fun thing about coming back to Horizon after like two months is that like you have a shit ton of stuff. Like I have like three new cars just randomly and a bunch of like gift spins. Wait, you said GTRS? Do you mean Nissan GTRS? No, it's a Porsche 911. Oh, okay. Uh, 2014 Volkswagen Golf R. What the fuck is that? Sure. Thank uh, you, game. It's okay. It was meant to be. Think like a Golf GTI, but with like more horsepower and all-wheel drive. But you can't turn stability. Peter, control. Peter, I know nothing about cars. I play. I play the dumb video game that makes me laugh. Okay, Robin. Robin, yeah. what the fuck's up? 
if you want to get a car and you want a daily driver, but you want it to be a fun daily driver, ever the number one choice, at least if you like European cars, is to go GTI. Okay. So, fun fact, uh, the game just gave me 20 free uh, super wheel spins, so I'm about to go gambling, boys. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they, gave, they put 20! Why? Why do you do this? Why would you let me gamble? Why First, not? <laughs> I'm about to send you some of them, Peter, because they were just like, oh, you've been gone a while, and, you want, and you're gambling again? Here we go! <laughs> Let's so go. I just realized the people who could give you advice in this situation are pretty much all the demons on your shoulder, and there's like almost no angels that I can think of in this call. Pretty much. That's, I mean, that's yeah. Okay, maybe I'm maybe I'm a mixture. I don't know. Okay. 